We have the chromatic protocol test net that we can do. There's 21 days, no, sorry, 15 days until the main net launch. So this is time since if you want to get on this one ASAP, it's a confirmed airdrop. They've only got 15,000 followers on X, 20,000 followers on Discord. So it hasn't had a lot of attention and hype. Okay, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. First, what you need to do is you need to get some testnet ETH on the Arbitrum Sepalia net. You can use a Sepalia drip where it mines the Sepalia test tokens. So your input your wallet address on here, input your address, start mining, and it takes about 10, 15 minutes to get to the minimum requirement that you can claim. You need around three to five hundred dollars in the Sepalia ETH testnet tokens to be able to perform all the tasks. So just make sure that you've got enough. OK, once you've got enough of your Sepalia from the drip, you need to transfer it over to the Arbitrum network. So you'll come to this bridge, you'll input the amount and you will simply transfer it over. And then you have the testnet ETH on the Arbitrum Sepalia network. Before we get into the testnet, there is a Zeely campaign where you can earn points and convert them as well. So they have an airdrop tab here on the testnet site. And if you come down, you can see here, convert your Zeely points into XP. And then those XP here, as you can see under the credit, will then allow you to buy or open a random box, which will have the chromatic tokens. So you'll be able to get random boxes with different amounts of the chromatic token airdrop. So that will come from the Zeely Quest XP points that you convert. So you want to make sure you do the Veely quests that they have available. Most of them are just easy social tasks that you need to do. Link will be in the description. Make sure you get those done and earn your XP points that you can convert. OK, so the first thing that we need to do on the testnet is get the four set tokens. So you're going to come to the four set tab. If you've connected your wallet up on the main testnet, then your wallet will automatically input. If not, just put your wallet address in here and claim both of these and you can do it every 24 hours all right and then we're ready to perform some transactions on the test net so the first thing we're going to do is go to the pools and we're going to add some liquidity what you can do is you can add at different risk levels so low medium and high you can long and short long and short with the liquidity added so these are features that i personally haven't seen before you can choose the c eth or the c bitcoin you're going to come down you're going to input an amount, add liquidity. The gas fees to add liquidity on here is around $180. So that's why you need at least 300 to 500 of the Arbitrum Sepalia ETH, the testnet ETH. You need that amount so that you can do these transactions. So you can add liquidity on both of these. You can do it on Bitcoin and you can do it on the ETH. Once you've done that, you are going to head to trade. And we're going to do some long and short trades. So the first thing you need to do is you need to um, create a account. And then once you've created the account, you need to deposit. So you'll go up to this up here and you will deposit onto here so that you can then make some trades. So you'll input your amount, deposit it, and then you'll be able to make some long and short trades. Okay, so you can now see that you have the testnet Bitcoin on here. You're going to choose some Bitcoin to long or short. Choose your leverage. We want to play around with all the features. Put a stop loss in. So you could put that in at whatever percentage you want. Let's go 29%. Put some take profit in. Go 260% and then buy. Okay, and then once your position has been filled, you'll be able to see it down here. You'll be able to see your history. So that's a previous trade that I did. And then we want to make sure we do this for a short as well. We want to do it on ETH as well. So you'll switch to ETH, you'll do the same process, deposit some of the ETH, and then create some long and short trades. And what I love about this platform, maybe I'm easily pleased, but I love the way the background lights up red when we're on the way down, and it lights up green when the price is going up. So uh, yeah, just looks really nice. OK, and now my position has come up so you can close out your position down here and you do want to close these to create more transactions and then open new ones. Don't just leave them open for days and days. 
close them, open new ones. If you run out of the testnet ETH, just go to that drip, the Sepalia drip, or the quick node four set and get some more testnet ETH tokens on Arbitrum and do some more trades. Have some other features like this liquidity boost so you can add liquidity for when the mainlet launches, so real liquidity, and you will get a boost on your airdrop so you can check out that feature right here. If you click on this, it will take you through to that. Make sure that you join their Discord, their Twitter, so you can stay up to date with any announcements that come. As I said, we've only got 15 days until the mainnet release. So you want to get on this soon so you can get some trades going and you can get the XP points up from the Zeely quests. If we go to the Zeely quickly, go to the leaderboard, you can see only 31,000 people have been doing this on the Zeely campaign. So there's not a huge, huge amount of people that are farming this at the moment. So this could be a big opportunity. Okay, and that wraps this one up. Chromatic Protocol, 15 days left to the mainnet launch. So you haven't got a lot of time. You want to get this done today, really. Get some transactions going. Get on the Zeely Quest and get your points to convert to XP for the gift boxes that we can open for airdrop tokens. If you've got any questions, make sure you leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha. I've got more coming and I'll catch you in the next one.